What's up athletes? Welcome to this belly fat workout for men, bike your fit. This is Kinaw here and I am going to guide you through this exciting belly fat workout for men. Well, I have handpicked eight amazing movements that will work on your core and help you reduce your belly fat. The best part about this workout is that we do not need any equipment to perform these movements. So, you can perform all of these movements from literally anywhere, guys. Now, without any delay, let's begin our workout. So, the number one movement that we will be performing today is known as the rotating toe touches. You want to be keeping your feet wider than your shoulder width apart. That's how I like to do them. Hands out in a T-shape. Touch, working on that T-spine rotation, come back up. Touch your toes, working on that T-spine rotation, and come back up. You're also gonna stretch out those hamstrings, your glutes and lower back. Ready to start? Now let's begin along with me. Three, two, one. Let's go. This is a great way to warm up your entire body. Not too intense, but definitely gonna get that body worked out and free up all your muscles and joints, getting you guys ready for the main workout. Make sure you're keeping the form in the best possible way, guys. Try not to break down and go too fast like this. Just go one at a time. Up, up. Keep repeating, guys. Let's go. Nice work. Last five, four, three, two, one. All right. We are done with the first movement. Now time for the second one, which is going to work on your core strength, your upper abdomen especially, and let me show you how to work on these crunches. Alright guys, so crunches, uh, you do not need to get up completely, you just need to make sure that you lie down on the floor and open up that rib cage, crunch up slightly, down, Crunch, get that rib cage into your body, down and repeat that. Very simple, you don't want to be over exaggerating yourself and coming all the way up. Just make sure you're engaging the upper abdomen out here guys. Ready? Now let's begin along with me in 3, 2, 1 and go. Try to come up as high as you can and pause, down and repeat. Keep going guys, no stop. Breathe out at the top, inhale, stretch out the muscles. Exhale and squeeze the muscles at the top. Last five. Four. Three. Two. One. All right. Hold it at the end. Well done, guys. Felt that core? I sure did. I hope you guys are being able to follow up along with me. Now, moving on to the third movement. We have something for your lower body. And these are known as the jump squats. You need to keep your feet shoulder width apart, right under your shoulder, and toes naturally turned out, guys, slightly turned out. And go down squat, jump high. Jump off that floor as high as you can, or just a little bit also. We'll get that lower body working out, and we'll also work on that heart rate. Now let us begin. I hope you guys got the movement. Now follow up along with me in three, two, one. Let's go.
make sure you're going down, hip around your knee level, explode up, explode up, explode up. If you cannot go too deep, you can always come half and up, come half and up, come up half, go down and keep going, keep going guys, don't stop. Last five, four, three, two, one, and all right. Remember, when you're working on these jumps, don't land straight onto your feet, land on a half squat. All right, now that brings us to the fourth movement that we have, which is gonna work on your entire body, along with your cardiovascular endurance and help you build up that stamina. You guys are already guessing it, I'm sure. And these are known as the burpees. Yes, guys, burpees are amazing. And they can be truly beneficial if you are performing them in the right way. Now, let us see how to work on these burpees. Feet hip width apart, clap, jump, go down, chest to the floor, come up, jump, and repeat. Got them? Awesome. Let's begin. Now follow up along with me and let's get that entire body worked out. Three, two, one, and let's go. Make sure, chest to the floor, come back up, jump, repeat that. If you cannot jump, you can always take steps, go down, take steps, come back up and work on that as well. If you can, always add up these jumps. Five, four, speed up, three, two, one, and whoo. That was amazing, guys. How are you feeling? Superb, right? Awesome. Now, before we move on to the next four movements, let us take a one minute breather. <laughs> you guys deserve it. Now, I want to tell you that the most important thing while you're working out is your form. I want you to make sure that you, all these, you do all these workouts in the best form possible to avoid any injuries guys many a times people get excited in these workout series and try to do as many exercises in a small amount of time leading up to some kind of injury or the other but this is something that I want you guys to take care of make sure that you are doing these workout movements in the best form possible to avoid any injuries and also to get the best out of these movements. Now, without any further delay, let's move on to the next movements. All right, the fifth movement is gonna work entirely on your core, especially that rotational core strength. And these are known as the Russian twist. Let us see how to work on them. You need to sit back down on the floor Slightly lift the legs up. You can keep your knees bent and high up. You can keep them on the floor as well and also get them straight as well. This is a little harder, slightly harder, and this one is a little easier. Now, let me show you how to work on them. And this is exactly how you work on them to get the best out of your obliques and your core strength. Hope you guys got that. Ready? Let's follow up along with me now. Let's start. Three, two, one, go.
If you get tired in between, you can always keep your legs down and then work on them, making it slightly easier. And whenever you feel comfortable, just get them up and restart again, guys. Just keep going. Just a few more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And wow, that was amazing, right? Okay, let's move on to the sixth movement. I'm sure you guys are feeling the core out there because I surely can. All right, the sixth movement is known as the V sit ups, guys. And you start from the hollow hole, hands back, hollow hole, touch, back, touch back, touch, back, and work on them guys, to target your upper abdomen and your lower abdomen at the same time, squeezing and contracting them from the top and the bottom to shape up your core in the best possible way. I love these movements, I hope you guys can also perform them and fall in love with them. Ready to start? Hope you guys got that. Ready in three, two, one, let's go. If you cannot perform them in a straight leg like me, you just hug your knees, bend your knees. And get back to these again, if you can already perform them and you can take a break in between, but not for too long, get back again. Last few seconds, five, four, three, two, one, and wow, that was amazing. My abs are completely worked out and they kind of feel pumped out here, guys. I hope you guys are feeling exactly the way I am or are at least able to keep up the pace along with me. If not, keep trying, keep working guys. Making sure you have the right form. Now, the seventh movement is all about isometrically working on your core and your entire body. This is known as the plank and I'm sure you guys have done this. It's gonna work on your entire body and just hold that elbows right under your shoulder. Keep your palms separated and hold that strong. Keep your hips below parallel or at least parallel towards the floor to get the best out of this movement. Keep your glutes squeezed up, quads engaged, and your entire body strong and tight. Ready to begin? Let's start. Three, two, one, and let's go. Don't forget to keep breathing guys, don't hold your breath, just keep holding strong and glutes tight, quads tight, keep your shoulders pushed away from the floor and keep holding. Easy work guys, you can always drop your knees down but I wouldn't suggest you guys to do that. Just try to stay strong for as long as you can or throughout the 45 seconds. Last five, four, three, two, one, and... All right, that was amazing, guys. How are you feeling? Good or great? I hope you guys are feeling great. Now, before we move on to the last movement, I invite you on to the CureFit app and try out our CureFit life. Here, you can work out with many more trainers like me who will guide you in your fitness journey. Now, if you download the app through the link in the description or the first comment below, you will be getting a free access of 14 days. That's right, it's 14 days. 
Now, the last but not the least, we will be targeting your entire lower abdomen along with some of your hip and lower back muscles. So let's find out what it is. This one, you're gonna start by lying down on the floor and maintaining the hollow hole. Work on these leg raises, guys. The last movement is known as the leg raises. Make sure you're keeping your lower back flat on the ground and not arched up. Pull your belly and navel button towards the floor and keep your rib cage into the body. Now, upper body up, shoulders engaged, and let's go. You can always keep your hands underneath to ease it off a little bit, or if you can already, you can work on these straight leg raises. All right, so the last movement, but not the least, is known as the leg raises, guys. You need to make sure you're pulling your belly button onto that lower uh, abdomen and keeping that lower back flat on the floor, keeping that rib cage engaged and into the body by getting that shoulders up. And now working on those leg raises or leg lifts and keep working for another 45 seconds. You can always keep your hands underneath to help out keep your lower back flat. Now, if you guys are clear, let us begin together in the next three, two, one, go. No need to get them too high because the gravity will not work on them then. Try to keep your legs straight and almost parallel to the floor. going guys you can feel my lower abdomen getting worked out here after all these movements it's surely gonna be challenging but I want you guys to take up that challenge and keep working guys just a few more seconds last five four three two one and poof that was amazing guys, hope you guys could feel that lower abdomen, I can already feel those muscles getting pumped up, I hope you guys can feel the same. Now, we are done with the belly fat workout for men, now add this to your own personal playlist and come back and do this workout 4 to 5 times a week for a month. You can repeat the rounds of the workout and perform 3 to 5 rounds to increase the intensity. This will help you burn more calories and get you leaner and stronger, guys. You will be able to notice visible changes in your belly fat in the first month. Okay, so be consistent and regularly catch up with these workouts. Remember, no good workout can outlast a bad diet. Make sure you are eating clean and healthy. Make sure to add protein into your diet intake and avoid foods that contains trans fat. Reduce your stress levels and keep a tab on your sugar intake. Let us know in the comments below how you found this workout. Stay tuned to our CureFit YouTube channel. Like this video, share it across with your friends and family. Save the video either in watch later or create a new personal playlist. Guys, subscribe to CureFit YouTube channel if you haven't already and Hit the bell icon to never miss a video from us. Cheers, guys.